Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Adi Banjo Faith, if you're seeing me for the first time. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to help a child talk better, improve his or her speech. So if you're having a concern about, oh, this child does not talk properly or anything, these few points that I will be mentioning would be of help. And also, if you want to, I mean, don't you don't want to have so much issues with delay in speech and all of that these are also tips that can help you even when your child is born i mean from birth and i think these tips will just help everyone generally provided you have a child but a quick disclaimer i am not a speech therapist a certified am i going to say i'm not a speech therapist these are just tips that i have implemented and i am still implemented because i'm a mom of a four-year-old and a two-year-old going on three and it has helped me so much it's also i'm also a teacher in the preschool and it has really helped i mean it's something that i am implementing in my class oh Aside that, it is also something that has helped with um, the children with special needs that I have worked with for um, a few months. So, let's go right into the video. The first tip that is very useful for everyone, provided you have a child or you intend having a child or you're pregnant or you just give it, is that you talk to the child every time. Talk to your child from birth. Talk. You know, sometimes it feels absurd or abnormal, but I'm sure I must have mentioned this in video, my previous videos, that you talk to your child, whether the child is responding or not, listening or not, just talk to that child from birth. They are processing, they are taking it and absorbing it, and their unconscious memory, their unconscious mind is taking and absorbing all of this. Secondly, talk to the child like you will an adult. So, whatever stage your child is, talk to that child, interact with the child like you are talking to an adult. So, I'm not saying you should not do, oh, baby, how are you? That is fine, but use the normal language. Do not babble with the child. Like, oh, the child is saying, bah, 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 and you do your thing, oh, bah, 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 to you know. Talk like an adult. Talk to the child, rather, like you would an adult. How are you? Oh, are you trying to say you, even if you don't understand a thing that that child is saying, respond like you are talking to an adult who understands what you're saying. Say the right use of words, even when the child is saying his or her own. So I'm not going to say the child is using a wrong use of word. Now, sometimes children call water, for instance. Oh, I remember my friend's son's own, Abumabu. That's an example. I've forgotten my daughter used to call water something too. But rather than echoing that same thing back to the child because you understand what the child is saying, use the right use of words instead. Oh, you want water? Go and bring the water. Okay, this is your water. You know, use the right use of words for that child every single time. Do not use baby language or respond in the same way or the same use of what the child has used to communicate to you. Now, this is a very important point. Engage intentionally in conversations with that child. Now, um, and insist on a feedback, like a response from the child. Verbal response precisely, not, you understand, for instance, you call the child and actually engage that child in an intentional conversation. You have a point, an aim, right? It's not that you just you just feel like just in days and aim. This helps the child think and talk. For instance, you could call the child, um, are they calm? Faith, come. Ah, how are you? What is this on your dress? The child would think, look at what you're saying, and talk. Anything, it would be just engage intentionally in conversations and insist nicely, of course, on a response. Make it fun. Like, the child sees that you are, you know, it's difficult these days, especially these days, to have parents, parents, if you've seen that video, please check it out if you haven't. So, to see adults generally even engage in conversation, like, okay, come, let us talk. 
it. Find difficult. It's only when the child comes and like, okay, oh yeah, what do you want to say? So it's actually going to be amusing that the child, for the child to even know that oh, you want to even just ah oh, come, let's talk. What is this on your hair? What hairstyle is this? Oh, do you know what is it? you know? Just talk, just have conversations and a key thing which also helps in um, in a child learning other languages is that the child responds also to your questions or to the conversation the child also says something no matter how small it could begin with a two word or a one word depending on the state the child is if the child is already using two three words you could you know insist and help the child to respond do you understand now for children who in fact this helps children generally not just children who have whom you have concerns that ah, this child should be talking and mind you please do not ah i should have even mentioned this at the beginning of this video a second disclaimer will be that every child develops individually i have mentioned this several times in my video every child develops uniquely and at their own time so please do not compare do not compare your child with another person child with this person's child my own child for instance talks like a four-year-old already my two-year-old and it is just she you cannot compare her with another child and all glory to god do you understand i mean they're just unique they're just different so back to our point use the things the child likes to help the child learn I mean, as an opportunity to help the child learn to use certain words in certain sentences, if that makes sense. I think I, I better read it the way I wrote it down. It's just easier. I mean, it says exactly how it was captured in my mind. Use the things the child likes as an opportunity for the child to learn certain sentences. Exactly. For instance, um, a child wants biscuits. And the child obviously cannot help him herself open the biscuit. The child comes and meets you and gives you. Babe. You know that the child wants biscuit. So you'll be like, oh, okay. You want me to open this biscuit. Can you ask? Ask. Like talk and ask. You wait. The child maybe does not even know what to say. Then you help the child out and say, please help me. Depending on the stage the child is, remember, maybe the child is actually having a difficulty, like a real difficulty, and it's a challenge. Then you can just use, help me. Help me. Or open it, please. You know, that just a three, two word, three words um, um, sentence. You start from there, and the child comes. So when the child brings it again, of course, the child will forget the next time. What do you say? The child might forget you. Remind the child, say, please help me. When you do that like 50 times, I'm just joking. <laughs> you do that several times, the child would come and actually say, please help me or open it, please. Now, when you see that child has learned that, the next time the child is coming to you, you add more sentences. Say, okay, this time I'm say, please help me open my biscuit. Right. So if you say it's too long, you shorten it again, but make it longer than the last time. And before you know it, Excuse me, the child will make, be making sentences, which is, I mean, it, 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 the child is talking. Same thing, it, it applies to many other situations. You shall know that this child cannot do without this. I need to get my toys. Or you even help, make sure you put some things away so that the child will call your attention to it. Then you make sure the child uses his or her words to communicate to you. Generally, it might not even have to be tangible things. Just make sure the child communicates intentionally and i've already said this in the previous point that as the child grows up increase the use of words right so you can't expect a child in primary one i'm using that as an example to talk the same way with the child in primary six or to you know it's okay give me a speech and the child is using a very little you say, no no you're bigger than this so that's just it increase the word number of words that is expected from that child as the child grows up no fights no struggles just make it fun keep it simple and if the child does not do it now try another day children always give us opportunities every single day to do better so it is not going to be a big deal by the grace of god and if you truly have concerns like sincerely you have concerns and your mind remember our instincts are super god has put those instincts there please go and visit a consultant but 
it is very important yes a, a speech consultant or someone just talk to someone so that you are rest assured they, they carry out tests and all of that but generally generally when you start to speak to your child converse you notice that many of these speech delays speech this the child doesn't talk on time or does not talk is because they do they are not in the environment where they talk and you see that we have these issues more in our age why is it like that it's because we ourselves i mean we are more of the pressing phone you see it everywhere when you enter a space you see we are all pressing phone everybody is touching nobody is talking to anybody so how is the child going to learn how to talk how to have come hold conversations even in the house mommy is on the laptop that is on the ipad we're working from home and all of that not much is our fault but there has to be intentionality in making sure and you know our children learn most of these things from our environment so the only places where they get to hear people talk to each other is in school because we have to talk and communicate to the children and you know that's that's not nice so nice so i hope with this few points of mine <laughs> I hope you've learned something and I hope you will work on something. Please, if you have other tips, please help us all out in this community by putting it in the comment section. If you have questions, do not forget to put it there. And um, do not forget to also share if you think someone needs this video. Thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. And do not forget to subscribe because I do parenting, intentional parenting, kingdom parenting content every single week that will definitely help you and i also upload activities for your children that would help them learn better and grow holistically till next time see you bye